they did not disappoint. I think I got swindled. I think I got fiber swindled here. The results of this video have shown me that I can be, um, just as offended as I can be impressed. So with AI art blowing up right now, I feel like more than ever, I want to be able to support artists. Fiverr can be wildly hit or miss. Fiverr is a marketplace for commissioning and hiring for digital services like different digital artists. So I thought that it could be fun to commission 12 portraits from 12 different artists in 12 different styles. So the process went like this. I gave each artist full creative control, trusting them to use the image that I sent them and do whatever they want in their own style. And I provided each artist with the same photo. I've got the results and I'm so excited to show you all of these, but specifically some of these for sure. I'm gonna be rating each portrait based on value value and so I'll tell you exactly what I paid for each one and also just like overall am I impressed even though I can be offended I can still be impressed okay so for $25 this is a digital brat doll artist which I am obsessed with I mean these just look so good I feel like I was hoping to know exactly what I was getting. And for $25, I mean, one, my titties look incredible here. It's so good. I'm obsessed. And I also had the option to put my name across the bottom. Like this is just screaming profile photo. I'm not gonna get rid of Stitch on my socials because I feel like I've had Stitch, like snuggly sleeping Stitch for too long now. But this is so cute. And for $25, I feel like this is exactly what I was hoping for with like a cute pink background. My corset looks amazing. There's still some artistic integrity because it's not just like a total like copy paste of exactly what I'm wearing, but it's so cute. And just like bonus points for my boobs looking absolutely incredible. But value wise, like, I mean, this is a five. Like there's nothing more that I would want for the commission overall. And I'm stoked. Am I impressed? And do I like it overall? Also a five? Like, this is so cute. This is exactly what I wanted. And now for $40, a funny and unique caricature. I knew and was mentally preparing myself to have my feelings hurt, to be deeply offended, and to maybe learn what my most dominant trait or feature on my face was. Let me just flip through some of these. Like, these are incredible. This guy obviously is bald with some nostrils. I'm just nervous. I was just really nervous. And uh, so here is the result. Here's me. Here is me in all of my pointy chin glory. <laughs> this is exactly what I mean though when I say like there is a world where two things can be true and you can be offended and impressed because this is so incredible. Am I now self-conscious of my chin? Yes, absolutely. But it's so good. Like it's literally so incredible. I mean, the corset also looks amazing. And I'm like, ooh, my waist is snatched. Thank you so much. My hair looks incredible. But my chin, my chin, why? Why are you gonna do me like that? But I did sign up for this and I did pay for this. I am so impressed and deeply offended. But value wise, I, I would say, I mean, I just feel like this is so amazing. And I think about how much those caricature artists are when you go to like Disneyland or like a fair and usually it's a pretty steep price. So I feel like to have this in full color and be this funny and this impressive is just like five. I guess fives across the board, like just being overall truly impressive. Do I hate myself a little bit? Yes. But am I deeply impressed? Yes. Next up for $20, this is so cute. This is just like a cute digital portrait in my unique style. This is giving like illustration of an adorable kids book or something. Like it's such a unique style, but obviously she is like so incredible and consistent with it. I was just so excited to see what kind of portrait would come from the photo that I gave her. And for $20, like, are you kidding me? This is a Adorable. The corset, again, so cute. I wanted to choose a photo that had like a lot of fun detailed pieces. Obviously like tattoos are kind of like a detail that comes along with me that's like 
not really flexible, but I wanted to have a shirt and a hairstyle that definitely had some like potential to be really cute or done really poorly. And this is done so well. She also originally forgot the tattoos and immediately followed up and sent me the new version. This is so cute and I want a storybook now. And if I were to have a storybook of any kind, I would hire her in an, a heartbeat, a heartbeat. This is so adorable. Value, five, impressed. Five. We've had a lot of fives across the board. <laughs> okay, so for $50 and for the storyline, I had to say yes to this. I paid the initial fee of $30 and the artist messaged me and asked for $20 more, he could do more quality work. And so at first I was like, well, what was the work gonna be like before I had to give you this extra $20? But again, I'm here to support artists and also like for the plot line, like was this gonna be incredible? Because like, look at this listing, like hand-drawn watercolor and portrait looks amazing. Like this is so abstract, but still realistic in like a watercolor style. $50. This is the second most expensive fee that I paid and commissioned. You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, so I want to tread lightly because there is a world where this is entirely hand-drawn and it is truly watercolored and everything about this is real. But just based on what I know as an artist, I am by no means a fine artist that specializes in watercolor. But what I do know is that I can and did buy an app for $3.99 that made watercolor portraits that look exactly like this. Would I put money on the fact that this is most likely a bamboozle and that I just got bamboozled and swindled for $50? I would take that bet. I think I got swindled. I think I got five or swindled here. $50, just gone, like that. My app for $3.99, unlimited watercolor. So let's just be blunt here. Value, zero, an absolute zero. There's just no value for me personally for $50 where this makes sense. Am I impressed? Also a zero. I think that I'm also offended and am more conscious now than ever of how gullible's not the right word. Easily taken advantage of, potentially. Either way, it's for the plot line. I won't see that $50 again, and I hope that $50 goes to good use for this artist. Okay, this next one, for $40, you can hire and commission to do a pencil sketch portrait from photo and also make a time lapse. This is insane. So look at some of the examples here in their portfolio. I think, again, with so much AI art and the ability to create App art. I think seeing a time lapse is just like more valuable than ever now. And y'all, they did not disappoint. Am I a little bit offended that I do feel like I've put on 15, 20 pounds in my double chin area? A little bit, yes. But this is incredible. Like this is incredible. Being able to sketch in realism is insane. It's truly insane and so incredible and so incredibly impressive. But just wait for this time lapse. This is just absolutely insane. And it's so cool being able to see like him switching out different pencils and shading tools and erasers and like all of the things. Like it just blows my mind how talented people are and they deserve so much more than $40 as I feel like where I'm landing on all of this. $40 is not enough for this amount of talent. Like this nose? Have you ever tried to draw a nose? If you haven't, just don't because you will be so upset with yourself at your inability to draw a nose. The left nostril itself is worth more than $40 on how accurate this is. Value, five. Am I impressed? 10. Do I wish I had a little bit less of a double chin? Also, yes. <laughs> For $25, another um, digital caricature, I guess, or just like in a vector art portrait. The style is so cool. I was such a huge fan. I just think it's so unique. I was just excited to kind of see like what would come out of it from my photo. So for $25, here is the result. So cute. I just like love when an artist has such a specific but unique style. This is incredible. Again, my titties 
look amazing. At first I was a little offended to be like, did I have like an allergy kind of day? Like why is my nose so red? But I went back to their portfolio because I was feeling a little insecure to be honest. And that's just the style that they designed. And actually, you know what? No, this blonde glasses girl has a cute little button nose. But everyone else kind of has like the allergy red swollen nose, like the post cry nose. So I'm not alone in that. But overall, it's really, really cute. I mean, the value I think is five out of five. And am I impressed? I just am very overall impressed by the consistency and ability to have a unique style when there's so much art in the world that already exists. Five. For $25, the next portrait is in an anime slash manga style, and I was surprised by how few listings I was able to find in this style. These are so cool and so fun. Obviously, I feel like this is a massively popular style, so I was really excited to see what was gonna come out of this. I only commissioned a headshot, so it's just shoulders up, but here's the result. And I'm gonna be honest, I think I was a little bit disappointed by just like the lack of detail maybe in the hair. It looks just like really generic. It doesn't look like me. And I know obviously like my eyes are not actually that big and I guess like the hair is curled like mine. Maybe I'm just a basic looking bitch and that's why she looks kind of basic, which makes sense. I think just like the highlights and some of the other examples that were in her portfolio, like literal highlights like in the hair and stuff like that. I was expecting just a little more detail. I don't think this would ever be able to be associated with me as a person to be like, oh, this is, this is Lauren. Value wise, I think obviously it's still really cool and it's cute, so maybe four. And then I think just like impressed, I want to give it a little bit lower, maybe like a 3.5 Here's the thing is that like, I know that I can't do this. So yes, it is impressive. I think that I was just a little bit disappointed by the lack of detail, um, specifically in the hair. Cause I think that was like the biggest opportunity they had to kind of really bring it to life. For $20, this is a charcoal commission, which is so cool because like charcoal and pencil just is like that physical fine art expertise and it's just so impressive. And charcoal is something that's always been just like so intriguing to me and something that I've like tried to work with a little bit, but it's hard. And I think charcoal is so cool because it's just like one piece of charcoal. <laughs> I just feel like the opportunities to like make something cool with charcoal if you're good at charcoal, are really cool. And here's the outcome. Again, this is not something that I would ever be able to do. I don't have the fine art expertise, but I kind of was expecting a little bit more, I think. I don't know. It's obviously incredible and it looks like the photo, which I guess is exactly what I asked for. Maybe I wanted a little more shading. I, I can't. My left booby though do be shaded. So there's that. I can't do this. So I think overall the value and especially for like how affordable this is, is still a five. And I think again, I can't do this. So like, I don't want to give it less than a five to say that I was not impressed. But like, if we're being honest, I'm going to come in, I think at a four. I do still think that charcoal though is cool. For $30, a Disney style cartoon portrait. These are so incredibly cute. So I paid an extra $10 to have an included backdrop because I just felt like if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. And also $30 is still incredibly affordable. So incredibly cute. Oh my God, is this a wedding? <gasps> but you can just see like how much more robust the art feels when there's a background. Here is the full photo and it's so good. I think like this was kind of the level of detail that I was more expecting with the anime portrait. This is amazing though. This is exactly what I feel like I would look like if I was a little Disney gal. I think my skin is maybe a little bit light. Like I'm looking like a white girl in here. And again, half white, so I'm not offended. But just overall, I mean, the value five, I feel like she should be charging way more. This is adorable. And am I impressed? Like, yes, also a five. It's just always so impressive that an artist can do something in their style, but still make it look like the photo. Okay, so for another $20, I'm subjecting myself to another potentially ugly portrait, uh, another ugly caricature in funny style, which I think is synonymous with a slightly offensive to me, but I'm subjecting and literally paying money to potentially be made fun of. So this was the only example on the listing and I was a little nervous, but here's what we ended up with. <laughs> and like this, I, <laughs> maybe it's just like my 
big ass bobblehead on my little ass neck that I'm like, God damn. <laughs> but it's still overall, it's so good and it's such a specific funny style. It's kind of exactly what I was expecting. And honestly, I'm a little relieved that like they didn't pick one specific feature like the chin caricature guy because this one is a little bit easier to swallow and accept I think than me having a bigger chin than like the witch of the wicked west east whatever it is I mean value five out of five am I impressed <laughs> I guess five out of five. Is this me? Yes, like this is me. I'm a little like begrudging to admit it, but like, yes, it's me. For $15, again, I'm just so obsessed with artists that have like a really specific look. It's like kind of abstract, but like the style is just so cool and unique. And so this artist reached out to me and was like, are there a few images that you're drawn to that you like the best kind of in my portfolio? So I picked a few images, which I think helped give her some direction. And this one, turned out so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Like I've never seen rosy cheeks done this way that are still so like cute. My hair looks amazing. I think this is my favorite corset of all of the art pieces. It's just so cool. And again, like it still looks like the photo and it's still me, but like in their style, I'm obsessed and I have so much respect for artists like this. Value five out of five would absolutely hire again. Am I impressed? Again, five out of five. I love it. Am I being too nice in this video? I think I might be, but I just like, I'm so obsessed with all of these results, except for a couple of them. And then our finale, this was another style um, fantasy that there weren't a ton of listings for. So this one ended up being the most expensive. But I mean, like, look at these pieces. These are absolutely incredible. But yeah, that first one specifically, I think was such an accurate representation of really, really cool fantasy art that I was looking to do a style portrait in. And here is the outcome. It like looks like me, but it doesn't look like me, but like in a really complimentary way, if that makes sense. I think the background is incredible. My hair looks amazing. But my favorite thing is the way that she took like inspiration from the corset and turned it into a fantasy themed dress. It's so Pretty. The AI trend of doing fantasy pictures that were AI generated was so big a couple months ago, but I just feel like I trust that this is some real ass talent and some real ass art that went into this and it is stunning. Fives across the board. Also, I just like love that everything about this is so fantasy and then I've got the little moose and diggy tattoo on my arm. It's so cute and just like so like grounded in actual reality versus like the fantasy that is this photo. Overall, this was so much fun. I've never had something done like this before. I think I've done maybe one of those like funny caricatures at a fair years ago, but this is hands down like the most unique portrait experience I've ever had. I just wanna say that majority of these artists were so incredibly communicative and so open to hearing feedback. I mean, the goal for me was just to genuinely see what their creative take and spin would be on the photo that I sent them. So I really had nothing to say, but everyone was so nice and so easy to work with and so ready to be receptive to any feedback or requests. So I'm gonna have a link to all of the artists in the description box. Please go check them out, commission them if there was an artist or style that you liked. In conclusion, uh, regarding Fiverr, I think Fiverr is overall pretty hit or miss, but I have commissioned so many incredible artists and I think it's an amazing way to discover new digital artists. Fair warning to do your research, but I think there's so much talent just waiting to be discovered on Fiverr. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on Tuesday for a new episode of Wild Till 9 over on the podcast channel, over four vlogs on the vlog channel, and again on Sunday for another video. Bye guys!